Thank you. Okay, so Roberto, you defended your British crown and your reaction at the end of the race, I think really showed how much that meant to you. Yeah, I've already said I have to apologise for that a bit. I went a bit over the, overboard, but yeah, it really meant the world to me. Obviously retaining my crown, but also making my third world championships because this year the qualifying times are the toughest in the world. And uh, I always knew it was going to be a real big challenge to do that. You have to come to meets like this and do personal best times, do times that are ranked top three, four, five in the world. And it's, it's tough, so to have done that and obviously it was close. So just a big relief off my, off my shoulders now. Yeah, it was a sensational time. And a time like that comes off the back of some really hard work, doesn't it? Yeah, a lot of hard work and a lot of uh, focus, certainly for, for this season. I've had a more focus on my technique and I think that's paid off for me today, hopefully. And a really close race, you pushed all the end there, finally pulling away. Did the uh, did the competition really spur you on in that one? Yeah, I, I mean, I did my own race today because I, I knew what the qualifying time was, so that's what I was ultimately aiming for. But um, British Champs is, is a big competition and to have it in a situation like this where you've got probably the best pool in the world and uh, a lot of support in the crowd so it really helps you to certainly down that last length. Absolutely, well thank you very much Roberto and congratulations again. Thank you, thanks a lot.